J Drone here. What's going on, guys? So you got this mini Firefly 1080p cam, dirt cheap. A lot of guys ask me if you can use this like I use the Q6 in FPV, 5.8 gigahertz. You can. Um, the things you'll need, obviously, the camera. You will need a transmitter. You will need a battery to power the transmitter. You will also need one of these cords, which I had laying around, fortunately. And then the only thing that I ordered here that I didn't have in-house um, was this. I think it was like 3 $4. It did take like a month uh, on the slow boat to get to me, uh, but it does work. I've already tried this and I've disassembled it. And we're going to assemble it on camera for you. So the first thing we have here is this this is your transmitter 600 milliwatt and this is for your power and this is going to be for uh the camera your yellow is your video out your red is your positive your blue is your negative so let's go ahead and match this one up to it um your brown is your negative your red is your positive and your yellow out is your video so let's go ahead and make sure they match up so we got our yellow on top we got a red in the middle we got our blue which is negative on bottom yellow on top red in the middle brown on the bottom which is our negative go ahead and just plug this in once that's plugged in that's the proper connection we don't need to worry about that now all we have to do is match up these colors and our black is our negative our yellow is our video out and our red is our positive so we're going to connect these one by one we're going to connect our brown with our black here and you could solder these if you want a permanent connection um, the plug itself that I took off of uh, I actually snipped off a Q6 connection and then I'm just going to straighten these I'm going to put this around here and I'm going to wrap this around the wire for time being um, myself I'm just going to electrical tape them as you can see I have electrical tape up top and I don't know if we're going to do that right now we'll see how they sit after I connect them so we have our negative on there the next wire Let's see, our next wire is our red, which we're gonna try to do these in order of where they are on the plugs so we're not crossing wires. We're gonna do our red again, this is your positive. And again, we are just going to twist these wires, splice them together, and then we're going to make our line linear. And actually, we're gonna go over this side because we still have bare wire over there. Just make our line linear and then twist out like that and so long as these aren't touching I'm not gonna bore you with uh, I'm not gonna bore you with electrical taping and our last wire here is this guy which is our yellow slash orange wire which is actually what the video is gonna go through um, so again we are just going to splice these wires together splicey 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 then I'm gonna pull them apart and I am going to just overlay it this way and again, you could solder these together for a more permanent connection. I'm not really looking for a permanent connection because maybe I'll want to put my Q6 connection um, versus this mini, which is going to go in that. So our wires are not touching. I want to make sure our wires are not going to touch. And what I'm going to do is simply I'm going to take this. I'm going to place them over top of these wires so there's no possibility of them touching. Um, the next thing we need to do is our Firefly. This will turn on but you need to make sure there's an sd card otherwise this won't work you'll think oh j drone lied and it's not working because i was having issues and without an sd card in here it's not going to work so we have that there we have that ready to plug in let's go ahead and plug in our power um which will get this over here so you can see that it's going to light up uh you want a two cell battery which i have here and you're simply going to plug it in this jst connector connection and as you can see it's plugged in it's powered on uh, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and plug this in here which let's see do i got that in the right way i think i have it in the right way bam we are on as you can see we are on um if you don't have an sd card in there that's going to turn red and it's just going to be on standby uh, what i'm going to do now is bamzo we're going to use my otg to cell phone as a receiver that way i can show you pretty clearly and uh i'm gonna go ahead and plug that in there and give me a second guys let's go ahead and get this on and slide slide Come on, and as you can see here, I have it on the channel already. You can see my hands dancing around in the video. Might be a little bit delay, but nothing noticeable unless you're racing. And as you can see up here, it already started recording. So to stop recording, just press the power button. 
okay? The power button will stop recording. Um, let's see here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm trying to see. We'll put this on a darker angle here. Um, 720p. It starts off in 720p, if you could see there. And to get it out of there, quite simply, just hold this button. Now we are in, we'll go ahead and put it over here. We are in, okay, we switched the mode completely, which we didn't want to do. Or no, we're in 1080p. 1080p? I think that's what that says there, or that might be picture. Let's go ahead and press that again. Come on. Okay, we're in picture mode, as you can see up here. So I think we were in 1080p. We're going to press and hold that again. Okay, now we should be in video mode, which we're in 720p. We're going to press and hold that again. Now we're in 1080p. Uh, yes, 1080p, and we're good to go. It's not recording, although I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe that's saying, hey, we're transmitting a FPV signal down there by my finger. But um, you, we can record on this app, and we just lost our connection. I don't. It does probably on me. It was probably my receiver that just went loose or something. Maybe I banged it around. But this just shows you guys that you definitely can do this. Uh, it's definitely not my transmitter. That's still lit. It's probably just my receiver. As you guys can see over here, it's uh, taped up pretty good because the connection on the bottom isn't great. Yeah, so that's probably all it was. But all right, guys, I'm Jadron. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, concerns down below, definitely get at me. Uh, we'll throw this on something. We'll fly FPV just to show you that it works. And uh, we can record via that too. So, I mean, that, that's, your, that's your AIO all-in-one uh, camera. Obviously, it's connected to a uh, transmitter back here, but uh, it's going to work. All right, later.